Hi ladies and gentlemen. Right, I've been asked to show you how uh, the process of making um, a mould, well filling a mould, making the mixture and doing a mould. I just take out one of my little pots because I, you want, it's better to make less than more, you know, than more than what you need. I take a little instrument here, which you use with clay, and then I just put a couple of scoops, good scoops, in the pot, like that break it up a little bit make sure there's no lumps and then to that what you do is I add a little bit of water and you only need a drop if you need more you can add it in before it actually uh, I'm gonna need more you can tell straight away if you're gonna need more because it's quite thick and then just mix that together and it's rather like um, you know like an ice cream if you stir ice cream and uh, so that's the consistency that you need like that I don't want to put it's already starting to thicken up now so what I'm going to do next is to fill my moulds so I've taken my mould it's nice and clean and I'm just going to tip some of this into it I don't need that much to start with and like I say if you push the mould like that it gets it into the crevices make sure that's in before it thickens up yeah make sure there's no air in it whatsoever I'm just patting it down just so that it uh, gets into the crevices like I said and then like like this one See there was an air bubble there, so that's now come out. There's one there as well. And it's basically just, I mean while it's still soft enough to use, you can do that. And then I just clean off the back, make it as straight as possible. And I'm going to go back to this one and do the same. Just wanted it to have time to settle. There we go, and we don't waste anything really. I'm going to make the bottle as well. Now it's starting to thicken up a little bit more. Um, I have to be quick in using it. Push it in. Like I say, like that. I'm just pushing it down into the mould. Oops. Don't worry about it if you drop it or do anything like that. Fill it back up. That's that. I'm also going to do these two flowers. Like I say, it is quite thick now. Push that into there. And that one. Patting it in all the time to make sure <coughs> that it's um, caught all the areas it should well I'm hoping it does I mean I, I'm still practicing with this it's uh, it does take a few minutes and I've not finished cleaning all of mine so I'm just going to quickly do the shoe again I think while I've got um, <sighs> I don't want to waste what's left in there so it is thickening up right now You can still work it while it's thick. While there's some flexibility in it, you can still do it. Sorry, I'm just trying to um, get as much in that as I can. Patting it down to fill in the gaps. I'm going to scrape off all the excess. I might even have time to do another one. I'll do some more feet, why not? I waste none of it at all. And so I just pat it down. I'm not sure if I can. Maybe the angel. 
I haven't cleaned all of them off yet. I was just cleaning them off when I read the email, the message. So with what's left, it's now starting to really thicken up. Um, so I'm just going to press that right down and right into the mould. Something like that. It should have filled it. Um, I've got another one that I could do. Yeah, maybe the dress again. Uh, like I say, just to press it right down. It's still flexible, so you can still use it. Pushing it all the time into the mould. I can just brush that over. So that's that. Um, I'm not sure, but I might get this rose out. I might. Even though it's like that, it's still soft enough and flexible enough to use. So don't worry if it starts to dry. Okay, just push it in. So like I say, while it's still flexible, make sure you get into them cracks. There you go. I'll come back when they're done. 